I'm Julie Fafan Balzer, and I'm so excited to share with you that Brother has come out with a true type font converter. This means that any of the fonts on your computer, hundreds and hundreds of fonts that you may have downloaded or gotten for free or whatever it is, can now be used with your Scan and Cut. I'm going to walk you through how easy it is to turn any of the true type fonts on your computer into fabulous cutting files for your Scan and Cut. I'm here at my computer and I have Scan and Cut Canvas open. Now you probably never really paid a lot of attention to the scrolling text at the bottom of the screen, but that text is really important because it lets you know when there's an update for your machine, but more importantly, it lets you know, for instance, it says that the Scan and Cut, scan and cut Type Converter has been released and there's even a link for you to go ahead and grab it. So as soon as you see that little message scroll up, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna click right on the link to the Brother Solutions Center and then that is gonna open the Brother Solution Center. Now it's gonna ask you a series of questions that I think are pretty easy to answer. The first thing is you're gonna pick your model. So I know that I'm using the 650W, so I'll simply click on that. I'm on a Mac. Now the type converter here is smart enough that it's gonna sort of analyze your computer system to see what it thinks your computer system is. So it's pretty sure which Mac operating system I have. If you're not sure, then you can go ahead and check that. Once I'm set, I'm going to go ahead and say search, and it's going to go ahead and search for the software that I need to make this work. So once it's there, I can read the end user license, and then I can go ahead and agree to it, and I can download it. Now it gives you all the instructions on how to install it, but of course, I'm going to tell you how to do it too. So the first thing I'm going to do, you can see my downloads window is open, is it's already unzipped, and all I have to do is double click on Brother Scan and Cut Type Converter. And once that opens, it's gonna say it's downloaded from the internet. Is that okay? That's fine with me. And once it's open, guess what? It's already ready to work. So now I can just type in any word like Julie. Um, and then these are all the hundreds of fonts that are on my computer, any true type font. And I can pick whatever one that I want now with any words, any text of any kind whatever it is that I like, you can see, you can just, I mean, I'm only in the C's. You can see they just go on and on and on. So all those uh, fonts that you have on your computer are now yours to play with. So once I've picked the one that I have, that I want, that I was right, that looks good, I'm excited to cut out, whatever it is, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit save. And it's gonna tell me that it's saving it as kind of a weird file name that I don't really want. So I'm just gonna type in that this is Julie Calligraphy, because that's the font that I'm choosing. It can ask me where I want to save it. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it into my downloads folder. You could save it to a USB thumb drive. If you don't have the wireless and you wanna just go ahead and put it right into your machine. So I'm gonna save it as Julie Calligraphy. There we go, save. And now I'm gonna go ahead into Scan and Cut Canvas. I'm gonna open a new canvas. And I'm gonna go ahead when it opens to a new canvas and I'm just gonna hit the SVG button. And this is gonna allow me to bring in an SVG, a DXF, or a FCM file, which is what we just created. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose my file. I know that it is stored in my downloads, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. And I remember that I called it Julie Calligraphy, so alphabetically speaking, there it is. I'm gonna open it up, hit OK, and there it is perfectly just for me. Now, one note that I wanna show here is look for the little box around. And you can see that each of these letters is actually a separate file. So if you want it to be one complete word, you're gonna select all, go up to edit and group, and now it's just one unified word. But if you wanted to alter the spacing or anything like that, you could of course, for instance, here we go, edit, ungroup them. And then let's say I wanted them to all be connected. So I'm gonna use the arrow keys on my keyboard and I'm just gonna inch over these pieces so that they're touching. And then this is gonna allow me to then go ahead and weld this if I want to create something else. Now I actually feel like this eye is a little bit close and I'm gonna undo that. But now I'm gonna go ahead and actually cut this out in a couple pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and select those pieces. Let's weld them. And now you can see it's all together. I've lost the E, the little inside of the E here, which is easy enough to fix because all I'll do is just take this and I'm just going to ungroup it because this is actually made up of an inside cut and an outside cut. Then I'm gonna go up to weld. Here you go, edit, and I'm going to weld it now. Now I can take all of them, 
make them one big group, make them any size. Let's go ahead and transfer this over to our machine wirelessly, scan and cut transfer, and let's go cut it out. Now, all of the fonts in your computer are available to you for your scan and cut. I'm here at the scan and cut, and I have a piece of cardstock loaded onto a middle tack mat. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the dust cover on the machine. And then with two hands up front, I'm just gonna go ahead and load that in. And now from the home screen, I'm gonna choose pattern. And then I'm gonna choose the wireless button. And that file that we created is right there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and scan in my material to make sure that it's gonna fit onto my paper. So once it appears, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my file and it fits perfectly right on there. Oops, I lost my little eye out of here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and Drag that onto there, okay? And once it's all set, I'm gonna go ahead and say okay, and cut, and hit the start button. So I'm gonna go ahead and unload the mat, and then let's pull away the excess, and now I'm gonna go ahead and use the spatula tool to get under there, so I've got my J. And I just love that now I can take any font from my computer and I can make it work for me. And you saw how I was able to customize this particular font so that I could weld some of the letters. I mean, there's just so many exciting and fun possibilities, and I love that Brother really listens to the features that its users want. So there we go. Julie, fancy calligraphy right off my computer. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to visit my blog at balzerdesigns.typepad.com, and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget about the Scan and Cut website at scanandcut.com.